Na 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 Batman! Boom! Past! Oh! Oh, all right, getting a little excited there. Welcome back to Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Elric Ferris, your host. Today, we're going to be bringing you some footage of the game Batman. That's right, Batman Arkham City. Really cool game. It's really based on NVIDIA technology. It takes advantage of all their stuff on their cards, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now, you guys all know the new GTX 680 has hit the market. We brought you guys all the stuff for the single card review. Now, we're going to bring you the video of these cards running in SLI. So before we actually jump in, let's take a look and see the specs and how we set this game before we ran it. We have the PhysX set to its highest. We also have DirectX tessellation settings set to high, and we're running a resolution of 1920 by 1080, which is the basic resolution that most gamers out there are using. You guys can see the rest of the settings on the screen. So without any further ado, let's jump in and check out this Fraps video of Batman Arkham City. Where was the Joker? That's all I'm saying. But anyways, you guys can see that Batman Arkham City plays really awesome in SLI at 1920 by 1080 with all the bells and whistles turned up. Now, you can get actually even higher frame rates if you have the movie stuff turned off. We filmed a Fraps video and that actually takes away some of the frame rates. When we turned it off and just ran it by itself, the frame rates were actually much, much higher. But we know you guys always wanna see videos of actual gameplay, so we try to bring you guys a little bit of both. Gameplay from behind for some of the videos and actual frap videos. So I hope you guys like this. Look for lots of other performance in SLI this week on motherboards.org. Mm -hmm. 